Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Milwaukee Half Inch Stubby Impact Wrench. I've had this thing for three years. Um, I spent $250 on the Impact Wrench. Uh, this style battery, this isn't the same battery, and then another small 2 amp hour battery that all came into a package with a carrying case. It was not the hard carrying case, it was the fiber cloth carrying case. Still a nice carrying case, but I never used it. So, um, this is just going to be going over the pros and cons that I've experienced over the past three years of using this thing. As you can see, it definitely has done some work. Um, and I will say right off the bat that it was worth every every penny I spent on it. So every 250 all those $250, $1 bills that was spent on this thing... All worth it. It paid for itself in the end, I would say, over the course of three years doing all the brake jobs, struts, control arms, um, everything. It's, it's, I've literally used it for everything. So it's paid for itself, I would say, by tenfold. And I would recommend it to anybody who's starting out in the automotive career or is already in the automotive career and well into your career and you don't have this thing, I would definitely recommend it. Um, it's very small, fits in tight spaces. Uh, I've done it on, I've used it uh, to give you an example of a small space that I've used it in. Um, I've used it to t to do to take part uh, water pump in the five O's and Fords, um, brake caliper brackets. Those ones I've used it. Uh, those are probably the tightest spaces that I've used this thing. It is bulkier, so some brake caliper brackets, it won't fit in there with just uh, <clears throat> a socket. Sometimes you'll need to put a wobble on or an extension with a wobble. Either way, this thing, 9 out of 10 times, will break that those bolts loose. Um, the only things that it has not been able to break loose are axle nuts. Uh, some axle nuts it has been able to break some axle nuts loose, but some axle nuts it hasn't so I would just stick to an air gun when taking off axle nuts along with some wheel uh, wheel lug nuts uh, or wheel locks um, It has trouble with those that I've seen some of them again It takes off and some of them it doesn't uh, I've used it for three years to take off wheel locks and um lug nuts so most of them it'll take off some of them it won't uh, it says now some of the cons that I, I have experienced with this gun is one it says as the battery drains so you have a battery bar on the side here so as the battery drains this is at two bars so if two bars apparently you're getting the same amount of power as if it had full bars Complete lie. All lies. Don't listen to them. Bunch of lies. All lies. Lies, 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 lies. Two bars, you're still going to be able to do pretty much everything. It's just going to have a little less power to it. So be careful, careful of that. Because if you're at one bar and you've already taken everything apart and you're putting it back together and you want something to not come loose... You know what I'm talking about. Like, like if you're doing brake caliper brackets, okay, and you won't want you don't want those bolts to back off, and you have to have a swivel on there, and you run them down. I've had brake caliper bracket bolts back off because I've put a swivel in a socket, and this thing was at one bar. I put them in thinking they were tight because normally they would be if it had a full full fully charged battery. But with one bar, the bolts ended up backing out. The person came back, I fixed it, but <clears throat> be careful. Um, at this point, I would recommend if, if you're going to do anything with a power or air gun or air ratchet or anything like that, <clears throat> always go over afterwards to check to make sure everything's tight. Just a lesson I've learned. <laughs> um, but yeah, when they say that you're going to get the same amount of power no matter what the battery level is, that's a lie, um, which isn't too much of an inconvenience because if you go, 
if you go with the bigger size batteries like the three amp hour four amp hour all the way up to like six amp hour or whatever it's called um these last pretty much like i go th i have two of these two brand new ones this is one of the brand new ones and then i have another one that i literally just bought a month ago um, and i swap them out so in the morning uh i'll have two fully charged batteries this one will get used in the morning i use it about halfway through the day this one's dead so i go i put it on the charger i grab the other fully charged one put that one in and it's good for the rest of the day uh, towards the end of the day i take off the one that is now fully charged off the battery charger put it in my box put this one on let it charge up take that one off put it in the box so if you're going to use any kind of m12 tool especially like an impact wrench and you're going to be using it all day if you go with three amp hour get two of them i can't say for any higher than that i haven't spent the money on those batteries i didn't see it worth it if i can just buy two of these for 199 dollars um, that's perfectly fine with me another con about these is the batteries as you can see there's a bunch of super glue on there uh, the ears tend to fall off and that's mainly because of that action right there you gotta squeeze these in to take it out of the gun and it eventually just cracks at the bottom and the ears will fall off so it won't stay in the gun now there is a remedy to that you take zip ties and you zip tie basically the battery onto the gun I did it for probably the first year and a half of owning this gun because the batteries break pretty quick especially if you're doing like brake jobs and you accidentally get brake fluid on the casing of these batteries they will break just super quick uh, I don't know what about it in brake or brake fluid that will do that but get brake fluid on them done super glue them right away <laughs> Uh, that's the advice I would have is honestly if you do plan on buying this gun literally just before you even do anything take super glue and put them around the bottom of both of these ears and it'll hold up uh, I've had this battery for about a month uh, it started to crack put glue on it and it it's been perfectly fine ever since normally the ears would have already fell off um, on the smaller batteries, the whole casing for me fell off. The only other, uh, the only other con that I would have for this gun here is the anvil. This didn't start until about six months ago, but so for about two and a half years, it was a great gun. Uh, but the anvil starts to get play, and this is that's a lot of play, like a lot of play and it will start eating the head of the gun. So that is another con. And I'm sure there's a rebuild kit I could probably buy for this thing, take it apart and then rebuild it from the inside. And I might do that, or I might just go and buy another one. I'm really banking towards buying another one because the gun itself is probably 150 bucks or something like that, which is worth it for it to last three years and pay for itself, I, I'll take it. So, those are my pros and cons about the Milwaukee half inch stubby impact wrench from Milwaukee. I bought mine from Home Depot. No, I bought mine from Amazon. So, the Amazon link is going to be in the description. But I bought my mine from Amazon. It was a package deal. Like I said, the gun, two batteries, and a carrying case, and a charger, all for 250 bucks. Great deal. Um, if you guys want, check it out. If you guys want to see more tool reviews, let me know. Uh, let me know what kind of tools you guys want to see. <clears throat> right now, I'm just trying to do the more expensive tools that I have, um, just because they're expensive, and I know I wouldn't want to spend the money on something expensive until I watched a review about it of someone who's been using it for a while, uh, and that's what I'm trying to do on this channel. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more of this, subscribe. Thank you guys, and peace out.